Good afternoon. Thank you guys all for joining me. Welcome, Facebook Live, Parks fans. My name is Nikki. I'm a California State Park interpreter focusing on MPAs. So I want to say happy MPA Monday. Thank you for being here. Um, right now, the weather is a little um, blustery, raining a little sideways. So I'm inside trying to stay dry and warm. And um, thanks for joining. Again, my name is Nikki. I'm a California State Park interpreter currently at the McCarricker um, Visitor Center because it's a little little gray and a little rainy and wet outside. South wind making it blow sideways. So you probably wouldn't be able to hear me outside and it wouldn't be a fun time. But I want to share with you guys just a few things that you can find in our visitor center that are really neat and just awesome resources if you want to learn more or next time you come for a visit, just check it out. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank you so much to our cooperating association, Mendo Parks, for helping us and supporting us do everything we do for our interpretation and education programs here at California State Parks in Sonoma, Mendocino. So I'll just give you a quick tour of where I'm at and what you might find in this visitor center because there's a lot of really cool resources and fun learning tools. Like over here we have pelts of everything from the mountain lion to beavers and otters and this one's a sea otter. You can feel and touch them. Tactical learning. Our otters are no longer in our area due to extinction, local extinction, from being hunted to extinction for their pelts for trade in the early 1800s. Um, all of the sea otters were gone by 1840. And then there was a small population that was found in 100 years later in 1940 in the San Francisco Bay. So we slowly started finding some otters um, in San Francisco and south down to Santa Cruz, but up here they never repopulated or came back. So some other things that are really cool that we have here in our visitor centers, um, not only are there really cool memorabilia for your trip, but there are fun marine life that we are preserved like this chitin, which is a family member to the abalone. You can see what it looks like with all its meat and how it's um, shaped like an armadillo. It kind of has like plates along its back to protect it. So it's not a full shell, but it has plates of protection and then this meat and muscle all around. Also have, this is a sand crab. These guys are washing the shore right now on our beaches, you could find. We have some mussels, some barnacles you can check out. And another funny looking one some people like to eat at sushi is a gooseneck barnacle. Apparently it's a delicacy, I haven't tried it. I don't know if you guys have. Let me know if it's any good. This one's a little larger. We have Orchard Star right here. Really cool checking out the anatomy and just being able to see these guys up close and touch them because in our parks and in the tide pools you don't want to be picking up anything that's live, living, or possibly live or maybe a home to one of these marine animals um, because you don't want to disturb them and you wouldn't like it if a giant came into your house and picked you up. So we want to be respectful of them in the wild and just observe them and maybe get a closer look here where we can where it's um, okay to get a little closer look and pick them up. So these ones washed up and were preserved. Another orchid star. And then this is the chitin's uh, shell, and you can see the plates and the layers that create the protection all in here. It's really fun to check out. 
So if you guys have any questions or want to know more about um, what we might find in our tide pools or when you can come and explore them, let us know. Um, we'll get you the resources you need. And make sure you, if you want to learn about when our parks are opening or what's happening in our area, go to the California State Parks website slash flatten the curb curve to find out more about how we are staying healthy, protecting our community, our friends and family during these times. So I want to thank you for joining us virtually and um, just checking out some of the fun things right now. In our visitor center here at McCarricker. Um, so not only do we have fun creatures that are preserved, but there's a lot of fun history and facts about our whales, um, about our sea lions and um, seals. Also, you can look up and you see some bones, um, the seals and sea lions. And this one we like to call the zombie seal because it's missing its head. And then just other wildlife that you find around here. Nice little guidebooks if you're looking out in nature and want to know what kind of plant that is. You can find that here. Also, outside we have a whole whale of a whale that washed up in 1991. That is really cool to come see, and it's all put back together to um, actual um, structure of the skeleton of the whale. So, thank you guys for joining me. If you guys have questions or want to learn more or um, want to help support, you can always reach out to us here at California State Parks Mendocino on our Facebook, also our Instagram. Or if you want to find out more about what we're doing on YouTube, you can check out our YouTube page. Um, coming up later this week, we have live streams from Steve and Hindi Woods at 1 on Wednesday. And then also a live stream on Friday with Ka um, Kat here at McCarricker for Craft Corner to do some fun activities with your kids at home or anyone that wants to join in. And um, we have home learning programs all throughout the week with sports programs. You can go to ports-ca.us to find out all about the offerings for home learning programs for you to check in and um, check out this whole week from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., Monday through Friday. Um, and if you're a teacher out there and you want to get connected or book a program with our um, ports team, you can go there, check out all the programs across the whole entire state that are offered to get your students connected virtually to us. And um, hopefully in the future, we can have you here at our park visiting in person so that we can all um, learn together. And in person, it's a little more fun. But we enjoy you guys checking in here and stay, staying connected with us virtually during these crazy times. And we can't wait to have you back in the parks as we are missing the life and our community and our visitors here in Sonoma and Mendocino County. So again, my name is Nikki. I'm an MPA ports interpreter for California State Parks. And um, if you want more resources and want to get connected with us, have any questions, just message us, let us know, or leave it in the comment box. Um, we'll be happy to help in any way we can. Thank you again. I hope you're having a wonderful day, staying dry, warm, safe, healthy at home, or um, in your place of work. And we hope to see you soon. Have a great one.